Hey y'all, uh, Steve Holcomb, Pro Auto Custom Interiors, and he's got a 53 GMC pickup truck. He's just getting finished up. So let me get Steve run down and we'll take a look at it. Joe, that's an awesome truck, brother. Yeah, thank you. Have you done any kind of body mods to it? Or it looks pretty much stock. Uh, it's got a few. The the cowl vents shaved and the little uh, vents on the sides of the uh, the cowl shaved, and uh, recessed headlight buckets and. Now those are those are like different headlights too, though, right? Yes. That's yes, not like a is. what is this thing a fifty three? It's a fifty. Yeah, fifty three. Correct. GMC. Yeah, GMC. Right. What are those headlights out of? Uh, well, it's just an aftermarket headlight. That's okay. The, that's the Hagen recessed buckets. Okay. And then we just put a headlight with a turn signal in it. Yeah, not too many other body mods. Uh, Left door handles on it. Yeah. Now is that where the mirrors would have mounted originally? That is correct. Mirrors, right? Huh. You think that was right? <laughs> they're, they're weird. <laughs> it's kind of different, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, you know. No. Um, we are going to do a custom little filler to put the bumper on the back of it, so we have that left to do. And the wheels are not the wheels that are going to be on. No, no, it's got some custom wheels. What size wheels are you running, you know? Uh, we're doing 18s and 20s. Okay. Nice little combo, staggered combo, so it'll look cool. And is it on its basic chassis, or do you put a chassis up underneath it? It too? is the factory chassis, but we put a, uh, a four-link in the rear, and it's got a uh, IFS in the front with a rack. Okay. And then so, what wood are you using in here in the bed? That was a... Uh, uh, I think it was a uh, oak. I don't. We we buy a couple of wood kits. I don't remember all the different ones, but this was an oak that we stained. Right. And then we sand the stain back off to get real darker down in the uh, down in it. And right. So that uh, the markings in the wood turned out darker. Yes. But then it's a good match with the color of the of the truck. Yeah, it turned out real nice. What is that color? We call it. Uh, root beer pearl, but it, it's in fact just a Lexus color that if you see it It's like on a little Lexus RX 300 I think and it's just as ugly as can be on a Lexus, right? But it, it looks great on now it, on Now you say pearl does it really have pearl in it when the Sun hits it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it's really got pearls in it And then the the emblems and all are just gonna be stock GMC emblems. Yeah stock GMC But uh, but we had real nice chrome plating on them. So they'll really right. pop on that color real nice. And that's what the that's what the client wanted. He just yep. wanted a nice driver. Yep, just yeah. a nice driver. No, beautiful job. You guys always rock them and uh, get a Holcomb interior in it. Cool truck. I like this now. Thanks, Scotty. I like the uh, light stitching on the dark. Very rich looking. And I like the inserts. Right. right. Two tone look. The massive brown truck it looks really neat and clean. Right on. And the door panels. I like how they run down. Then they run up to that yeah. kick panel there. Very yeah. cool. Customer wanted a good driver. He wanted an old truck, but a new truck. Right on. So he's got him, uh, you know, the updated stereo system in it with navigation and everything. A seat with cup holders in it you can actually enjoy and drive around. It's a bench seat, too. It is, yeah. yeah. And it's got armrests. It does, yeah. How cool is so, that? So, I mean, it'll be a comfortable truck to get in and ride around in right. and have fun in. Put speakers under the bottom and back here in the back, so you got four stereo, four speaker stereo sound. Just made him a good looking clean little truck interior. I believe he did. And I like the way that that square radio fits in mm -hmm. that in that dash, right? It right. fits like it works there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So he's got him something he can enjoy there. I like the uh, satin paint on the dash. Yeah, that That's looks cool. neat. That it matches cool. with the leather and everything. And then look at the wiper, where the wiper thing is. It's up on top of the dash. Oh, up yeah, yeah, top. yeah. And then the gauges, they're so new, you've just left the plastic on them. Yeah, I didn't take them off, but they, they look good. Yeah, no. I can take them off now, so see so what they look like. Yeah, I like those. Yeah, those are pretty. Yeah, no, they look good. And then they got the volts and the fuel level and the speedometer all in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, those are nice. Oil pressures in that one, tachometer, and temperature. <laughs> wow, loaded gauges. No, I like it. And then I like the suede headliner too, right? Yeah. Turned out nice. Nice cold air conditioning, so. Vinny Jair? Yeah. Yeah, Vinny yeah. No, and then it's got an automatic in it. It does, automatic. Looks like a stick shift. Now, what yeah. I did find weird was that original style brake on that thing. That thing is pretty. Heavy duty looking. Yeah. So, I mean, usually everybody takes them out, but that's a pretty neat little concept how that thing goes. You push it in and then pull that little metal thing back and it pulls and lets loose of the arm. Oh, okay. That was pretty unique. Right on. 
No, I think you did a nice job. I like it. Well, I like the uh, I like the platform the seat sits on too. Yeah, we actually built all this up, put a wooden platform on the top of this. It has it has an old metal platform on it originally. All right. And we fixed it up to where it cleaned it up, carpeted it, and put a leather stra uh, band around it to make it look pretty neat. Yeah, I love it. Turned out nice, Steve. Another good job, brother. Uh, Scotty, appreciate it. What motor are you running? So we got a Crate LS3, just a stock 430-horse LS3. Um, we do have some custom engine covers for it um, that are painted back at the shop. 4L65 trans in it, um, serpentine kit on it. You know, customer just wanted a real good, dependable uh, driver. Put the key in it and go. Yep, yeah. that's it. And you did a nice job on the firewall back there. We did some changes on the factory firewall. You know, it didn't, the, the budget wasn't as such that we could cut it out and make all kinds of custom stuff for it. But, you know, we took the factory one and cleaned it up and oh, made it look nice. Good. And then the inner fenders too, right? We modified factory ones, yeah. You know, there, there are some aftermarket stuff out there, or in, in our case, we just make stuff. But we cleaned up the factory ones, we filled all the holes in. Right. So it's just clean, nice. Yeah, no doubt about it. And then the intake, I like the intake tube is the same color as the truck too. Yeah, yeah, when you do the LS, especially in these, there's not a lot of space, so we got a custom make inlet Boy, pipes. that is all up right against um, the fan, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. so close. Mm -hmm. And then all of this, this is the way it was back in 53? It's, it's well, it wasn't that shiny. Well, but, yeah, I know. I know it did, didn't fit that well, yeah, it and it wasn't that shiny, it wasn't right, that smooth. But right. I'm just saying how it was all put together. That yes. was That's kind of how it was. Right, okay. GMC is, the GMC grill makes a lot of changes in this upper radiator area also, so. I got gotcha. you. And then under the hood, you got it all smooth too yeah we went ahead and made made the bottom side look nice too so right on Joe, another beautiful job, brother. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. If people want to uh, find out more information on your shop, what's the best way to do that? Uh, HotRodJoes.net or just give me a call. 337-288-5826. Facebook, too. Facebook, yep. Okay. Hot Rod Joe's Rod and Custom. Brother, again, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thanks. Folks, there you go. Uh, 53 GMC pickup truck from uh, Hot Rod Joe. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See you.